Hello YouTubers, this is a demonstration, another demonstration of my micro SD flashing, that's what I call it, when I am installing a custom ROM on my smartphone. In this particular video, uh, my T-Mobile Touch Pro 2, which you see here. Uh, and it's one way to install a custom ROM, the other way is to have your phone here connected to the computer with the USB cable down here. This is my lanyard. This is not a cable. It's just a lanyard. So the other way to do it is to actually have this connected to the computer. But I submit that this is the better way to do it uh, simply because there's less chance for errors. Uh, the most important aspect of this is to make sure that your battery is charged at least 50%. Uh, but I do it at about 100% or in the 90s just to be extra safe in case the battery reading is incorrect. So uh, that's why I make sure it's at 100% usually. The phone right now is completely off and what I'm going to be doing is pressing a certain combination of buttons to get to what they call the tri-color screen and because I have installed the ROM or put the ROM on a micro SD chip and named it a particular way it will recognize on boot up that that file is there and it will give me the uh, update message which you will see so that brings to mind again what is on this right now on a micro SD chip is the ROM that I'm going to install and if you're going to use this micro SD flashing technique that's what I call it micro SD flashing uh, nobody else calls it that but that's what I call it if you're going to use that the file has to be in the correct name and that is R H O D as in Delta I M G dot nbh and I'll, I'll show that in a pop-up message what the file name has to be when it's called that when I boot up the phone with the special combination of keys it will recognize that file and say update okay so let's get to it again the phone is completely off it's not connected to any um, uh, any uh, the computer and I'm making sure that my battery is fully charged so what I do is I hit the volume down key plus the power button. It gets to the tricolor screen. It's now recognizing the that there is a ROM there and you can see at the top that I'm going to get this closer. You can see at the top, there's the file name that it has to be on your root directory, and I'll tell you how to do that. In your root directory, this is the file name. If I didn't have my ROM in this name, when I got to the tricolor screen, it would not recognize the ROM being there, and that I want to do an update. So that's the file name to make sure that I can get to this menu screen. There's nothing fatal if the file is incorrectly named. Nothing uh, traumatic or dramatic is going to happen. It just won't get to this screen, which is saying that um, you want to update or install a ROM. Uh, if you just get to the tricolor screen, which is what it will do if this is incorrectly named, that's telling you something's wrong. Most likely, you don't have the file name correct, or it's not installed. Uh, in your root directory, meaning the the ROM, which is anywhere from 150 megabytes to 200 megabytes, that ROM is not in your root directory on the micro SD chip, and you have to go back and transfer that into the root directory. All right, so here we go. It says press power button to start the update. That's all I do, and it's as simple as that. I am now installing my ROM, the one that I selected, onto this phone. The actual install process takes a little while, but 
getting into what I call safe mode meaning that there's no danger that something's going to happen only takes a, a couple minutes and you'll see what I mean it'll it'll say here update complete and that's telling you that even if you pull the battery out uh, or you hit the reset button did anything it's not nothing's going to happen to the phone because the install is complete up to that point uh, the, the process now normally what people will tell you is that well installing a ROM takes about 10 minutes that is true but getting to the safe point what I just mentioned it's about two minutes and you'll see what I mean right here see the progress bar that noise you hear is my notebook computer that this is the phone is resting on and it's um, uh, got the fan in there. I don't want you to think that the, that my phone is making that that racket. You can see the notebook keys here. Just a platform that I use all the time for uh, these videos. I could put, pick something else like a black background, a black piece of felt, whatever. But I just found that this notebook sitting here and it's easy to just do this okay you can see that we're about two-thirds through on the progress meter and notice something that you see they call it update in progress we're not really updating the ROM we're just installing a different one but uh, the name that's stuck because typically in history that's what we've done with ROMs is we've installed a new one as an upgrade or an update so that's what's stuck but I'm not really updating this because this is just a, 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 a custom ROM that I like and so I'm installing it Okay, just about done. So, what is it? Uh, maybe three minutes to where we're going to be getting to, to the safe mode. And again, what that means is that it'll say update complete. And even if I took out the battery, dropped the phone, or whatever uh, on a carpet, and disconnected a cable, if a cable was connected, whatever, that it's safe. Okay, there we go. So, now at this point, I could literally take out the battery nothing would happen to the phone it wouldn't brick my phone whatever now what we do here and this is kind of an interesting uh, uh, I don't want to call it a defect but a lot of people what they do here is they wait for something to happen well guess what happens nothing you have to hit the reset button over here on the side uh, here's my little stylus over on the right side here you have to hit the reset button for the update or the installation to continue the a lot of people they 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 sit here and they wait 10 15 20 minutes because they're freaking out going oh I can't do anything to this phone because you know as I saw on YouTube it's gonna brick my phone if I disrupt it so that's kind of a, a flaw I think in the installation process they should fix that so that it just automatically goes into uh, to continue the process okay I'll do part two uh, and we'll show you I'll hit the reset button and we'll go from there okay let's see